Welcome to the video. Today I will be introducing a very interesting software known as Autopsy. This software is a digital forensic platform used by many people around the world, including law enforcement and the military. This software is used to investigate what happened on a computer and can also be used to recover photos from a memory card. To begin with, I will show you where this application can be downloaded from. Please feel free to pause this video and copy the link highlighted above. I have already installed this application so we will proceed from the next step. Once you install Autopsy and launch the application, this will be the very first window you will see. So we will continue and create a new case. The case name will be, for my reference, X Forensics 2018 and we are going to select next. The case number can be anything, anything memorable, something you can keep a record of. So I'm going to select 001. The following fields, um, it remembers my name because I have previously created a case with autopsy before, but the phone field, email field, and the notes field are not compulsory for you to add information to, but you can do if you want to. So we are going to select finish. So the next step would be the type of data source to add. So Autopsy presents us with four options, disk image, local disk, logical files, or unallocated space image file. For this example, we are gonna use a disk image file, which I will link below in the description. And now we have to browse for an image file. So this is the evidence file we will be adding. I already have an evidence file downloaded on my desktop, so we will just add that. And we will select next. Now this ingest modules are basically, ingest modules analyze the data in a data source. So that evidence file we just inserted into autopsy, these things are specifically looking for for example, recent activity, keyword search, these will be searched for within the evidence file. So you can check and uncheck things you need or don't need. And we are going to select next. And we are going to select finish. So now the case configuration has now been completed. The evidence file is currently processing, but that can take any any given time really it just it really depends on how big your image is the evidence file we are using is not that big so it will not take that long so besides besides the evidence file we have some general information regarding this evidence file so we have the type we have the size in bytes we have the sector size also in bytes we have the md5 hash the time zone and the device id the MD5 hash is basically like the fingerprint of the evidence file added. And below here, we can see the hexadecimal view of the disk. So this is raw data, which it extracted from this, this evidence file that we added. So this is the raw data belonging to that evidence file. Now, on the left side we have the address to data and on the right side we have ASCII characters. On this left hand side we have this tree pane which you can consider this to be the navigation for this evidence file. So specific things you can find in this navigation menu which is contained within this evidence file. So an example being web cookies so these web cookies have been extracted from that evidence file and have been presented in a view which you can read extract analyze so it's a very very powerful tool if you know what you're looking for and you have web history here which you can is extract and then analyze further now data extraction is something we are going to look at in my next video so please join me in my next video as I will be explaining how data extraction is done, 
what that data means and where some of the data originates from. So thank you very much for listening and the link to this evidence file will be provided below and if you guys have any questions please feel free to contact me. My email address will be shown below. Thank you very much once again.